The industry generates approximately 400 million kina every year, but the current fuel problem is likely to affect tourist travel into the country. According to the Minister for Tourism, Missy Henry Leonard, fuel shortage will restrict movements of tourists. And when you mismatch a flight schedule, a tourist will never come. Because they will know that the cost will escalate in terms of hotel, transport, and other associated costs that goes with it. So people will be discouraged because there is non-alignment of airlines, both domestic and international. Tourists wouldn't want to come and waste another three nights or four nights because of lack of airline, uh, air, uh, whatever, air travel, because of fuel shortage. The minister called on the government to address this issue. We must fix fuel. We must make that our national issue. Why allow foreign companies to come and dictate in terms of fuel service delivery? This is a sovereign issue when it comes to fuel. We must now own the fuel, control the fuel, rather than get the foreigners to control it for us. They will now use that to sabotage our national issues in terms of mobility and tourism. Minister Leonard said the government should start controlling fuel. So for me, we must align things now. Align everything to fall under tourism. State must now take control of fuel rather than foreigners uh, foreign companies controlling fuel. We must now take control. Meanwhile, the minister appealed to all provincial leaders to prioritize the tourism industry in their development plans to help the industry flourish. Gladys Killer, National MTV News.